Good morning. Man, I freaking thought winter was over. Keep teasing me. It's like 30 degrees out. Anyway, we're starting today with this Instacart. It was $37 and something cents. 44 items going like six point something miles. Three customers. But it's a little, it's like 7.15 in the morning. So I'm happy to get an order this early. So we're going to do it. Got the Instacart shop for first customer threw me for a loop because I sent him a picture of cat food because the section was destroyed there's like not very many choices and they replied you know when it when it asked if they want a replacement no and then as I'm checking out they send me a message that says why refund so then I'm like I explain why I refund and, and I'm like I'm still checking out I could go get you more cat food if that's what you like and then she's like, no refund. And then I realized she was saying why, so yes, refund. But that's in a confusing abbreviation. I got another Instacart pretty much right after dropping off that last one. It's $55 going three miles, 59 items, but 99 units, two customers shopping at the Giant. Pulling up to the Giant now. So I didn't get any drop off action on that second Instacart. I think I filmed for like a brief second. It was a very nice couple. The wife had her husband doing all the work. Like they did order a lot of stuff, but I'm just so used to it that it doesn't phase me. We got the order dropped off nice and easy. That was a beautiful way to start the day. Now I got some stuff I got to take care of. So I'm very grateful for those, those orders I did this morning because that put 90 points on the board. It's a great way to start the day. All right. It has been a hot minute since I did the last Instacart. I had them things to do today and I went and did them. So now that I done did them things, we gonna go shop at the Food Lion. Oh, I forgot everything about this order at this point. Let's see, let's see. Let me think harder. Um, I know it was like $30. Might have been a dollar more, but it was definitely at least $30. It definitely was going less than two miles. And I think it was either 34 items or 44 items. Either way, I don't care because I'm only shopping for one customer. Sesame. All right, didn't really film any drop-off action on that Instacart. Um, oh, I had to get my, had to get buckled up. Safety first. Oh man, that customer was freaking awesome because I had to replace and refund, and you know it took a lot longer to shop. But it's just nice to have someone who, you know, replies to your messages right away. So you can know, I know I got them exactly what they wanted because I was, these fingers were firing to text up. But uh, 
yeah, then I didn't film the drop off because uh, I, I don't know, I felt awkward. And then she was like, you might want to stay away. Our whole family's sick. Cool. But anyway, they had these in the hallway. What? A Lindor? Lint? I don't know what the hell they're called. But they're awesome. Alright, y'all. I got another Instacart. $15.30. I think it was going one mile for 19 items. So, got ourselves a nice and easy one. And this one will put me over $800 Friday evening. So, we're back on schedule to uh, hit our quota for the week because now I got to make $200. And I got Saturday and Sunday to do it. I got another Instacart. I'm kind of not really hyped on this one. It's almost $35. I think it was going four or five mile, miles and it's like 37 items, but it's 97 units. They ordered four different things in the, in the deli and 24 cans of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. That, there's no way, absolutely no way they're going to have that much. So my tip going to get cut. I definitely delivered to them like a week ago and they gave me $25 cash tip, you know, so they're awesome, but I just feel depressed because what I see they're buying, man, 24 cans of chicken noodle soup. Obviously I couldn't get that. I could only get eight, but I delivered it like a week ago and they just got eight more 12 packs of soda. I got like eight boxes of cereal, 600 million ramen noodles. They have a lot of sodium in their diet, a lot of sugar and a lot of sodium. <clears throat> I got another Instacart. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> it's eight o'clock. Well, I guess I didn't work most of the day. I got lucky with those first two orders, but I just don't feel like working anymore. Anyway, the Instacart I'm doing, $16.70, going 2.7 miles, 13 items, 17 units, one customer. Let's knock it out, and then hopefully y'all don't see me until, hopefully it's night and... <clears throat> Saturday morning now. I freaking didn't think I was gonna stop taking orders last night. Anyway, what, what, what? We got an Instacart. I just pulled up the food line. I think it was like $18.70 going 0.6 miles and 18 items, 20 or 22 units. It's pouring. It's supposed to be nasty out today. gosh i think i'm putting a 30 dollar minimum on orders at least it's supposed to stop raining this afternoon but for now i'm not doing anything under 30 dollars over 30 items because it is net like i'm soaked and i was outside for like a couple minutes so i don't feel like getting that wet all right y'all got this door dash 
freaking I, I pretty much quit doing Instacart all day today because it was too rainy. I didn't feel like dealing with it. I did another bike race. I didn't do too good. My screen recording messed up. I was going to add it to the video, but whatever. Anyway, the DoorDash we got here, 1550, seven and a half miles. It's a lot of driving, but I've made $17 today, so I've got to do something. And I've had Instacart on for like an hour, and there just ain't nothing good coming in, so grateful for this one. All right, right after dropping off the DoorDash, fired up Uber. I got this one. It's 12 bucks, going 7.3 miles. I just drove 7.5 miles to drop off the DoorDash, and now I'm driving seven miles back in the direction I want to go with this Uber. Oh, heck yeah, the joint was already ready. This is the perfect situation. Because I knew I was going to drive 14 miles when I accepted that DoorDash, you know, because I'm coming back, you know, I'm not going to drop it off and never coming back. So now I'm going to get another 12 bucks to drive back. I got this Uber right after dropping off the last Uber. I can't believe this one. 26 something, going 13 and a half miles, picking up at uh, Bento's, but it's not actually going 13 and a half miles because it wants me to go down the highway, which is probably faster, but it's more miles. So we're gonna go the other way. And when I got, cause I was like three miles away from it, three or I guess I was really only two miles away. Cause it said 11 miles with the way it wanted me to go down the highway. But then when I went the way that avoids the highway, it said like eight and a half miles. So we saw it was like 10, a little more than 10 miles for 26 bucks. All right, so that Uber I just did is pretty funny. $23.57 of it. I think it was like a $26 and something order so they did leave like a three dollar tip which i do appreciate it's just funny that doordash or doordash uber had to pay out 23 bucks to get that one fulfilled that is whew, that's expensive but i don't care who pays me that's fine uber if uber's paying me i'm happy i just don't want to do no orders where i get paid two fucking dollars all right it's sunday now afternoon just did an instacart 13 dollars 69 cents going 2.6 miles 14 items Three items in the deli. Ooh. All right. Right after dropping off that Instacart, I got this Uber. It was like... 10, 10 something going three miles and it's 10 items I think there's hidden tip on it pretty good thank you yeah have a good day all right so now right after dropping off that freaking uh uber we got another instacart it was 16 something going like three miles or something 16 items nothing in the deli easy order So I dropped that Instacart off and now it's not showing up in, you know, my summary or my total. Like it's not there at all. It doesn't even show that I did that order. So I didn't get paid for it. Uh, I'm waiting to talk to support. Oh, all right. So I got this DoorDash, 10 bucks, four and a half miles. Nice easy one. I am not gonna do any more Instacarts because I can't get in touch with support. 
it just shows like this it's loading to talk to someone but then it also says it'll send me a notification that says that the chat has started but chat definitely has not started i'm just gonna hope and assume that uh this is something that's happening to a lot of people so their chat is overwhelmed but i'm not doing any more instacarts because i don't want to have to fight to get them to pay me for multiple orders it's already a pain in the ass to have to do this for one order happy customer see i told y'all he was a happy customer he added two dollar tip heck yeah now only if i could get in touch with instacart support what i'm close to my goal so i don't need instacart right now but if they don't sort this out by tomorrow i might have to freaking play top dasher all right so i don't remember if i ever updated on the instacart not getting paid situation it ended up just showing up it just took a really long time so anyway we got one more instacart it's gonna be the last one for the week and i guess i have to go over the totals still so the video won't be over but getting close to the end oh yeah the details of the instacart this one is 19 bucks going five miles 10 items Alright, so that's going to do it for deliveries, but I am going to go over the weekly totals right after this bike race here starts. And then, you know, after the weekly totals, I'll do a little recap of the races I did. It'll be short. I'm sure a bunch of y'all want to click off. So anyway, after this race starts, we will go over the weekly totals. Alright, now that the bike race has started, let's go over the numbers for the week on Instacart. I made $823.61. On DoorDash, I made $103.71. Uber Eats, $79.62. And this week, I got my monthly YouTube payment. And I got to thank y'all very much. This is the best YouTube payment I've gotten so far. I'm hyped on it. $397.51. Only get paid once a month from YouTube, so... Yep. Anyway, that brings the weekly total this week to $1,404.45, and I drove 525 miles to make that. That's going to do it for the delivery portion of this video. Now I'm going to do a recap of this bike race. Anyway, if you're not interested in the bike races, take it easy. I'll tune in the next video, more deliveries. But here we are. It took me about a minute to catch up with the front group of this race, and then it was like a pack of 16 of us, I think. And nothing really exciting happened, so I went ahead and skipped to 15 minutes into the race here. And we're coming into the most visually appealing part of the race, inside of the volcano. And again, we're just jumping ahead here because I'm just riding with the group of the front people. Nothing, you know, nothing exciting at all. This is where about the halfway point of the race here, on the coastline near the beach. Alright, so jumping ahead again to about 30 minutes into the race here, and we're on a climb. And I noticed that a couple guys take off off the front and i want to make sure that they don't ride away because i in my mind i'm winning this race so we got to stay with the people on the front all right skipping ahead again we got one mile left to go and i am it's looking good i'm with the front group of people so basically a quarter of a mile left to go here and i messed up i don't know it's it's hard to figure out when to sprint I started sprinting here and i realized i just did not have the power that i normally do and that guy on the front, he was gone. I mean, I pretty much just gave up and rolled through in eighth place, I think. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Freaking, y'all know what to do. Do all that YouTube stuff. Go do what you want to do. Have a great day.